dick. So I told my dad to take me out and he sent me to Barstow. You know. And my daddy was picking up numbers. And my mother was running after our job. Okay, and then did you have any sisters and brothers? In later years, my mother adopted a girl, Juanita, and oh. raised her. And then what type of schools you went to? Huh? What's the name of your schools? I went to St. Mary's for two years, and I, I quit because I didn't like wearing that uniform, and I went to Boston, Duffield, and Miller. Miller? I graduated from Miller. Okay, and then what was the life? Up, um, in Black Bottom, Paradise Valley during that time. Paradise Valley is up from Black Bottom. It was on Gretchen. Gretchen and, uh, and uh, St. Edwine. It started from Gretchen and St. Edwine to Adams. And they had a street in between there, Beacom. Okay. And then Black Bottom was? Black Bottom run from Haston to the railroad track. And then if you went over the railroad track, you was in Upper Black Bottom. Okay. Can you name some of the clubs or uh, businesses that was in Black Bottom? Yeah, they had the Tiptoe Inn with the Bucket of Blood, the Lincoln Bar, <laughs> and John Lambert. That was one was on Russell and Monroe. That was the Bucket of Blood, the Tiptoe Inn. Then you had the Lincoln Bar, that was on Ripel and Monroe. And then you had John Lambert on Orleans and Monroe. They had a little club there. I mean, you could dance and listen to them play guitar and shit. And what kind of dances did you all have? Did they have names to the dances? No. Like the Black Bottom? No. Yeah, they used to have a dance called Black Bottom. Uh huh. But that didn't come from there. I don't know if it might have came from there. Uh huh. And what kind of uh, clothes did y'all wear? What, what was the name of those suits? Like them Cab Calloway suits y'all used uh, to wear? We used to wear zoot suits. Yeah. <laughs> and knob shoes and big hats with a string hanging down. All right, all right. And what, what them girls wear? Them old cotton style with them funny looking dresses. <laughs> And how about the shoes? Was they heels? No, they was knobs. Uh, <laughs> the girls had heels on. Uh huh. And then, um, what is your fondest memories of the uh, the Brewster uh, uh, Willer Center or Douglas? Brewster, Brewster was a place where black kids could go to because we all used to go to the Y, and the D, the kids in Black Bottom went to the DUS. Uh -huh. And then uh, we go up to the YMCA and the Y, y was on Columbia and the YWCA was on Mount Cone. Okay. And what are some of the legends that came out of the Brewster uh, Douglas Willard Center? Oh, yeah, a bunch of boxes. You had Joe Lewis, you had the Bridges brother, Wag, uh, Clinton. What was the twins' name? Uh, the Dungeon? No, the Dungeon, they're young. They're oh. Young, they're young. They're young. They're young. They're young. They ain't no more than about, they ain't been about 80. 80? And then um, you were telling me about the life in Idlewild. Now, how did you uh, come across there? Did you actually live there, or you said your parents owned a cottage there? Yeah, my dad owned a cottage up there. And and what was you? up there in the summer. To the cottage, and Arthur Briggs had a review up there. He was from Saginaw. He had a review. They called Arthur Bragg's review a bunch of women dancing. And uh, they would come down to El Sino's and dance. El Sino was here in Detroit? Yeah, it was on Beacom and uh, say that one. Okay. And then what other kind of acts did um, Arthur D. Braggs have? Was it just jazz and blues or it was just... Uh, they played a variety, you know, a variety of all of that. Okay. And how was the life up in uh, Idaho? How was the people, the living? It was all right. It was just a recreation place. Right. Where they went up and drank and party and had fun. Okay. Do you still remember the location um, or the address where your, your dad cottage was? No, I can't remember that. Right, but his name was Big Jake, huh? Yep. All right. Benny Osborne. He's back home. All right. Well, thank you, sir, for your story. I appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs> okay.